Hello. How are you? We're so close to each other. I'll go back up a bit. How you doing? <clears throat> Last time I played this game, I was extremely mad with Matius in Final Fantasy 6 T edition, but I have since figured out what to do. So don't expect this to be a terribly long stream tonight, but I did just want to show this off live. Show you that it's at least somewhat consistent here. I'm probably going to do a separate video, but I wanted to just live stream it too. As a matter of law, let's do it. Earthbound Zero next. Not Earthbound Zero, but I'm going to do, I guess, Earthbound Point Five. I'm going to do the fan game uh, Mother Cognitive Dissonance, see how that works. That'll be Sunday. Goofy, what's going on? David, yeah. Why do you do this to- I've always asked myself that question. See no emperor, only a dead man. Damn straight, Scott. Yeah, we got the code cracked. Dudley the Dragon, Ninja Gaming, how you doing? David hacked his HP down. We'll hack it down to one, all right. Piece by piece. Joe Sin, how you doing? Good luck, Harv, though you probably won't need it. Uh, now we've more or less figured it out. Like, we do actually need some luck. A little bit of luck. Because if he just doesn't want to cooperate, this isn't going to work. But. So let's uh, do this. Also make the music quieter, because that's way too loud. Okay, so before I dive in, I'll show you what I have done. Okay, so, as you can see, everybody in the party is vanished. I'm doing this for a specific reason, which will become clear, or I'll explain it in phase two, if I don't get, like, trigger happy. Doing quite well, thanks. I'm doing alright too, Dudley, thanks for asking. I've calmed down since the last stream, but this fight's still a bunch of crap. As you can see, I've leveled everyone up to level 97. No specific reason why I chose- well, the reason why I chose 97 is if anyone else is going to do this, I would recommend level 97. It's the highest level you can be without having to worry about like level 2 holy, level 3 flare. Nine, level 97, you don't have to worry about any of that. You could probably get away with doing this at a level 87, but you're going to have a bit more of a struggle. There's just a certain amount of just stat cap really helps here. And here's what we have equipped here. I don't think at the time I realized that... Because I had the dragon horn on Edgar, but this Gungnir already has multi-jump. So I was double dipping with the dragon horn, there's no need to do that. And I also elected to give him the Aegis shield, because he's normally in the air. So having the hero shield on him is just not good for business. He just has a grand helmet. I don't know, we might be able to jack his power up a bit more. No, not even really. We could jack his, yeah, we could jack his power up a bit more, but eh, it's fine. Celeste, we still have the Omega weapon. We have the La Seraphi uh, shield on, which we got from the Soul Shrine. I gave her a gold hairpin. The first time I beat Medius, I didn't even actually have a gold hairpin on. That was just more of a recent, I just realized I didn't have one, but this actually makes the, the build that much better. And she also has a Maximilian armor. Sabin still has his Atma weapon. The hero shield, his grand helmet, and a rubber bodysuit because this boss likes to throw thunder around. But he uh, also has the hero shield. And lastly, we have Gogo -Go as Minwoo, shaped like Minwoo. Will you enjoy your class, Ufi? So we get, we're trying to make Gogo -Go as magically inclined as possible because that will really help uh, speed up phase one of this fight. We don't want to spend much time in phase one at all. Like, you basically, you don't want the fight to drag on, because it's, it's just, it's more and more of a pain in the arse, the longer it drags on. There's all of this stuff, and the relics, Alas still has the ribbon in the jeb box, everyone has a ribbon, actually. Sabin sells his offering, and Gogo -Go has the Hermes sandals plus ribbon, so everyone's, you know, nice and hasted. Uh, I just showed off the relics. I gave Edgar the unicorn, uh, magicite. Because that's like my backup uh, status healing. Celeste, I don't have one because she has the gem box on. She can't use any summons, but that's fine. Sabin has Gollum, which is essential for this fight. He's got to keep that layered on. And Gogo -Go has Ultima, which is, like I said, it's going to be... That's going to be crucial for Phase 1. Not so much with Phase 2, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So right now, we're pretty well set. We have Float on Edgar. I also want to point out that 
We did New Game Plus once, so that's why we have two hero shields. If you only have one hero shield, I would recommend giving Gogo a thunder shield to block the thunder that uh, Medius will throw at you, but to also have him float as well so Quake won't hurt him. So that's my recommendation there. So let's just go ahead and do this fight here now. So we're like, I don't know, a good 15, 16 levels higher, which is certainly helpful. So let's go ahead, fight the Tyrant. And he'll probably just win this time, because I'm, I'm talking while doing it, but I'll do my best to narrate exactly what's going on here. If you're lucky, Edgar will go first, which isn't a bad thing, but he didn't, so we'll get Gogo to go go first. This can be annoying, because sometimes Quasar will turn someone into a zombie. <clears throat> you don't want anyone to be a zombie yet in the battle. It's really uh, inconvenient, but it didn't seem to work out like that this time around, so we're good. So this is guaranteed to do 32,000 damage with Gogo. So bam, that pours that on top. Sabin will just get hitting, and um, Edgar just needs to start jumping. Edgar being airborne is also crucial to keep, just to keep the battle running. If you're lucky, Celeste will attack with Medio eight times here, but you may only get four. Only. I grinded to level 97. JPA, th this is going to be a short stream. But I wanted to stream it and just show, show that there wasn't any hijinks. I also have Rage on Gogo. -Go. The blue magic. Okay, so we're already into phase one. I don't actually want to prep anything yet. Because this, this is part of my strategy. Uh, so I'm going to wait a second. I could maybe queue in a little bit with Celeste, but I'm not going to. So we will prepare for eternal suffering. Okay, so... Yes, do that. Wait, wind. When he does Cloudy Heaven, that's when I'm going to want to start layering stuff on here. Okay. Because I want to make sure everyone gets affected with this. Because otherwise, uh, he'll just... it could miss. I actually want everyone to be... Uh, death sentenced here, believe it or not. It In the long run with this battle, it actually makes it easier. If everyone is death sentenced, and if they die, they become a zombie. It actually makes the fight easier. And it'll, I'll explain why here when Gogo -Go gets another turn. So we'll get everyone hasted. We'll get Media slowed down still. They're all slow. A Golem. <coughs> so Edgar has to get back up. I'm going to wait a second with Sabin. Okay, so with Gogo, -Go, what you want to do is you have you want to find the Cheshire Rage. <laughs> I can't remember where that is. I want to assume Owser's place. I really don't know. <laughs> but this is crucial. Because Cheshire has an ability called Raccoon that cures every status ailment except death. Except just straight your face on the ground, face down, ass up, dead. It'll cure everything else. So, if the timer ticks down or someone otherwise dies, they remain zombies and Gogo -Go still has a chance to cast Raccoon on your own party. He might still cast it on Medius, but given enough time, he will revive the whole party. So long as Edgar's in the air, uh, you can keep going on. So I'm going to reapply Gollum here now. And uh, I'm just going to start hammering him with some Ultima. And I'm predicting that Medius won't even get to cast his Ultima. We're going to beat him that ferociously here. But there is a... I figured out the trick to Ultima. To his Ultima. And if he doesn't get the cast, it, I'll mention it. Unfortunately, a lot of people block anyways. So you, you don't have to relay or Golem a ton. So Sabin will just get you to put on more Golem. Because you have two hit points, you'll do no damage with the Admiral Weapon. 
Your damage isn't really what's important, though. Edgar's gonna keep pouring damage on, so we're good. So yeah, this raccoon spell cures every status ailment. All the death sentence will go away. The only thing that will still happen is if people die, they'll turn into a zombie, whether you have a safety bit on or not. I don't know if a, me a memento ring helps. So we'll just pour on Ultima. This, can, this I can turn down. Okay, that's a little annoying, but Raccoon cures that too, so we'll just let Sabin keep on punching away. I could cast Fire, but I trust Gogo will do Raccoon again. Sometimes he'll punch instead of Raccoon. It's not guaranteed, but it happens often enough. This is also good to have Edgar in the air for this disaster move. It's really annoying to deal with. And Sabin being zombified right now is not great. I can't reapply Golem if need be, but... That's all right. Maybe he's casting white wind on himself. Okay, go go, do your do your raccoon thing. I would appreciate it. It's fine, Sabin won't. Well, he's zombie anyway. Doesn't matter. Okay, I believe that was the first quasar. I don't think there's been another quasar yet. Okay, so hopefully Gogo's not curing Madius and will cure us. It's like 50-50. Okay, good. And that's our Ultima. We're gonna have to reapply Golem very soon. That slowed us down enough. He might cast Ultima on us. That's okay if he does, though. Because then I can actually show you how to counter it. This fight pissed me off so bad I had to get in touch with my inner Batman. So I'm actually going to hold off right now with Celeste. I'm not going to pour on any more damage with her just yet. I'm just going to... I'm going to play it defensively with her. Because there is a tell. There is a tell for... The first, the his Ultima, you just have to have done the fight enough to to know what it is. It's not exactly obvious, but but we might not even see it. Okay, that's inconvenient, but that puts a monkey wrench in that. But that's fine. Edgar will jump. It won't matter in a second here. Okay, good. Oh yeah, Gogo's Minwu AF. Okay, I'm actually gonna wait and we'll try to wait. Maybe I shouldn't have waited. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> As if uh, Gogo wasn't even hit. That's the thing about that disaster move. It's a real pain in the ass to deal with, but sometimes it'll just miss people. How much hit points do you have left? All kinds. All right, everyone's revived again. That's good. But yeah, since they don't fall down, you can just heal them with Raccoon, so it's just, it's wastes a lot of, saves a lot of turns. Well, so much for my thing that I said. Every other time I've done this fight, he would do Quasar and then Ultima, but this time he just did Ultima. It doesn't matter, he's almost dead anyways. But every other time I tested this fight, he would do Quasar, then say that. So never mind. I thought I had a... I thought that was actually, like, consistent. But that unto itself isn't. He's still dead, though. He dead. If Sab... Well, he's taking out Sab, and he's, he's actually being, like... Particularly difficult right now. But compared to the other times I fought him. I've also been kind of screwing around a bit. Edgar jumps on his head one more. Edgar jumps on his headgear one more time. It'll be all over. Yeah, he has 16,000 hit points. I don't think Celeste will even survive Celeste.
Just started studying what the site calls the Gao Bible. Okay, yeah. So I don't know a lot on rages yet. I had to specifically research... There we go, we just did it. Like, that was... Nowhere near the, the strain it was last time. The only place I misstepped was the Ultima. Oh, whatever. Now I'm going to show you the other thing I did that I didn't even tell you about. Because I, I haven't actually, like, properly tested this. Hey, Lean Phoenix, how you doing? So there we go, that was like, that was that. But... There is still some, like, um, content in the main game I want to show, because there's like, when you beat all of those bosses... There's like, stuff... to see. This is presuming I... actually saved every time. Thank you, David. Thank you, JPA. But the other thing that I found out that you would have no reason to know this. Changing the battle speed does not affect your speed whatsoever. I was reading that if you have it on slow, the enemies will attack slower. But you won't attack slower. But if you have it on one... Uh, allegedly they'll attack faster, so I'm gonna try to fight him again but with faster battle speed, and see if there's like a tangible difference in his difficulty. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Dudley. Then after that, like I said, I'm gonna check to see if that... Those e there's like EX portraits or something that show up in the main game, presuming I saved all these battles properly. So... But like I said, I kind of mis miscalculated with... Oh, whatever you call it. With the second Quasar, because the every other time I fought him since, like... Like when I was just testing. Like after the second Quasar, he would do his diatribe, so it's like, okay, so just... Quasar. But I guess a better tell would be, like, after he does that... Flare in Phase 2. Just be on Runic Duty. Unless you're forced out of it. So there's, there is still a little bit of random chance to it, but... But, I mean, I just beat him four times in a row, like, this is as consistent as it can get, but... Level 97. Hey, JPA, thank you for the $20 super chat, my man. Amazing playthrough, looks like a decent hack with its flaws, yeah. Thanks for showing it to us. Oh, you're most welcome, JPA. Like, I, I certainly <laughs> raged my fair share playing through it, but, like... I also have a tendency to put, like, too much... Um... I don't know why, but like anytime I play stream any of this stuff, I ex I expect to get through a lot of this stuff without much effort. I don't know why I think that. Like, it's effectively a blind run. Like, just plus whatever I know about the game. It's so different that, like, it's worth playing. But any any of the complaints I had about it, I think, are valid. But like, most people aren't gonna like the level four hold business. No one else is really going to care about that but me. Because most people will just be like, oh, level spells, who gives a shit, and just not use them. But yeah, it's, I would, it, you also got to bear in mind it's an eight-year-old hack. It, it was, it was released, whatever you do with hacks, back in 2014, so. I'm criticizing an eight-year-old hack, so. But yeah, if you're interested in it, definitely give it a shot. Like, if you're a Final Fantasy VI veteran, it's worth a go. Just be sure to grind, and you can miss Catable Paw and Carbuncle. So be mindful of those things. So let's try this again one more time. With, uh, the, the super speed up. And then probably in the next day or two, I'm gonna just... Make, like, an actual video of me doing this, explaining it all. Rather than, like, the live stream, just in case. I might even be able to just piecemeal this... Live stream, but I'll probably just do something separate. Uh, KJ, you did miss it already, but we're doing it again. I what I will explain is um I just showed off that apparently if you have the speed set to six, the lowest speed, the enemies will attack less, but you attack the same amount. So, conversely, if you have the speed at 1, the enemies will attack more, but you'll still attack the same. The game had it set default at 2, or I had it set at 2. It was at 2. 
So that might have been why I was like, you know how I was complaining about the game? It's like, OK, you t just took four turns in a row. Like, you remember me complaining about stuff like that? It's probably because of the battle settings that I had it set to. But I just kind of stumbled across that figuring it out. But yeah, I'll, I'll explain what I'm doing here again. Actually, let me just... I'll, exp I'll start from the top for you, KJ. So... So this is what I have set up initially. Edgar is floated. Everyone has Vanish on. Vanish is strategic. Because I want to be affected by that uh, dreary angel attack or whatever it's called. Edgar has the gun Gungnir, which I didn't realize had multi uh, on it, multi jump. So we got the Hermes ribbon and unicorn just in case I really need it. Celeste has all this stuff. She has gem box ribbon. Sabin has ribbon offering. Everyone has a ribbon. Gogo -Go is Minwu and with Wizard. We got him all jacked up magically. And he has Ultima. Battle speed shouldn't work like that. I agree. It shouldn't work like that. I'm not sure if it's a bug or what, but like during my my research, I stumbled across that and I'm like, really? So I, that's actually what I'm testing now because the fight I just did, it was at six. But now I'm testing it at one just to see if it's like tangibly different. Yeah, and I got the level 97. So I'm like, I don't know, 15, 16 levels higher. The fight's trivial now, though. Like, I, I beat them four times in a row. Three off screen and one just now. And it wasn't, like... The fight that I just had was probably the most I've struggled. And it wasn't even really that struggly. Um... Seven has Gollum. I think that's everything. But yeah, I did it again. I mentioned, like, since I have two hero shields... If I didn't have a second hero shield, I would give Gogo a thunder shield and make him float. So let's, uh, let's do this again. So the first round's kind of no big deal now with Ultima. With Go Go Ultima. With Go Go Power Rangers. So as per you were saying, we'll do the double Meteo. Uh, Sabin will, well that's annoying. Well, let's try anyway. That's really annoying that just happened, but let's try anyway. It's not the biggest deal, it's just, like I said, it's annoying. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I wasn't really expecting you to stream today. No, I just, I don't plan on streaming for long. I more or less just popped on to show this off, and I want to see if, presuming I saved properly, See if it shows the EX stuff. Why did Gogo -Go lose his Vanish? What happened? Oh, because... That's weird that zombie media works like that. Okay, that totally backfired. Okay, so there is still a bit of, like, RNG to it. So I'm just gonna run back here, do this a little bit, run around a touch. Because that was just an unfortunate... You still have to worry about zombie. Sometimes. She was, like, the worst person to have been zombied. But I'm pretty sure even if you have a safety bet, that can, that can still happen. But if it happens, just reload. Alright. <laughs> if you're lucky, you can get Edgar to jump immediately. But, uh, we weren't. We weren't that lucky. Okay, we're set now. We're good now. Yeah, all kinds of layered JPA. Layered for everybody. Sabin setup's pretty much the same. I just have Celeste and Gogo -Go both built for uh, magic. Also, I don't know if this has been confirmed or tested or anything, but I'm really wondering if the outfits have anything to do with your stats. Like, I know they have something to do with your stats, but like, if they have anything to do with 
your level ups. Because Gogo had like 200 health for, or uh, 200 magic for so long, but now he has like 800. Okay, so now we're gonna just sit here and wait a minute. <clears throat> also, note that we have rage. I figured out what rage I need for this. So we're gonna wait a second until Medius casts that dreary. <clears throat> dreary heaven, or whatever it's called, that inflicts death sentence on everyone. Cloudy heaven, that one. Okay, so we'll get that all set up. Want to have Mighty Guard on. I don't even know if Mighty Guard is really an essential component here, but I like to do it. Slow. Slow and haste. Because now that we have accumulated the death sentence, <clears throat> I want my party to turn into zombies upon death because it's actually less scrambling. Because of, of uh, the go go rage. Because it saves us from having to revive people. They just turn into zombies and you can just revive them and they just keep on thumping. Thumping away. So now we're gonna use the Cheshire. It's the Cheshire rage we want. Which has a reasonably good chance of casting Raccoon. Which cures every status ailment but face on the floor death. Now we're gonna go ahead and cast another Golem. He is wearing something that enhances HP, uh, MP, but not like that much, I don't think. So now we're just gonna start spamming Ultima. And I'm gonna be mindful this time of when he casts Flare. Because I thought I had it figured out when he casts Ultima. But I don't. Well, sort of. Like, I have a... I still have, like, a rough average, but... I thought I had a, a consistent way to block it, but to predict it, but I don't. That's annoying, but Gogo -Go will cure it soon enough. Uh, Sabin, I'm just gonna get you to strike again. That is one godly raccoon. The raccoon's MVP of this fight. Like, it really is. Because the first thing I did was like, okay, so what can you do about freeze status? Then I found out about that rage. Because at first I wanted to try to freeze Medius, but as far as I can tell, there's no way for you to cast that. Okay, that's not so bad. Everyone's... Like, Gogo -Go got zombied, but that doesn't matter. Raccoon is a coin toss, whether he does it to Medius or our party. But over enough time, we got, you know, we got heads... But over enough time, he will eventually just revive everyone. It just, it makes the fight so much less of a scramble that way. That's why I deliberately vanish everyone at the start, so they can be zombied. It's, you get better traction for the second phase that way. Yeah, Raccoon heals, freeze, death sentence, zombie. Yeah, how is Raccoon the most amazing thing? I don't know. <laughs> but it is. It's better than Unicorn. It's the best form of, of like, Ezuna I can find in the... that I've n ever noticed in the game. But yeah, ra that... that rage is MVP here. Like, obviously you don't need Go-Go for that, but... Sure as hell makes the... the battle a lot smoother. Like, you could just use Gao and Strago, I guess, if you really wanted, but... You don't even really need Runic, but... It's fine, it makes my life easier. Okay, so now that that Flare's been casted, I am going to Runic and just let Celeste play defense. But yeah, bear in mind, again, Raccoon doesn't always... Like, when he's zombie, well, sometimes he'll do it to the enemy, but... I forget if I... Need to relayer that or not? And whatever. I 
I forget if I runic. Did I runic? I must have. There we go, more raccoon. Like, good healing, too. On top of fixing everything. I forget exactly. Yeah, I think it was like that wiki was like, oh, just, just, just find this. That's annoying. So much for my runic, but anyways. Well. Come on, coin flip. Yeah, I guess. We were due. But, how much health do you have left? I think this is your last phase. Yeah, two more, yeah. When Edgar lands, it might be over. Where'd I find this? Uh, just off of a wiki. Okay, you did a second Quasar. You especially want a Runic now. Well, I won't have to because he's dead, but... But yeah, the, um... What I... I kind of reverse engineered it, I guess. Because what I did was I just looked on... How do you prevent freeze in regular Final Fantasy VI? And through a, a little bit of research there, I found out that, like, that raccoon ability is, like, really good for that. So then I just started just sifting through the rages until I found Raccoon. And then I tested it, and I'm like, oh, this, this works perfectly. So, like, it's just, it was fortunate they kept it in the game, I guess, but, like... As far as I'm aware, that's the only, uh, where is it? Cheshire. As far as I'm aware, this is the only source of this ability. Also, stuff I was looking at was, because I seem to remember in uh, regular six that the raffle ska or whatever it's called is like extremely busted but that's not the case here i also wanted to try to test um marlboro germs but it didn't it didn't really yield anything then secondly i was going to use where is it uh the soul eater to just try to drain all of his magic away because when he jumps on him with, with this, it'll take, like, I don't know, 1,500 MP each time. So I wanted to, like, double fist with Sabin and try that. How'd I never know about... Yeah, I'd, I'd... I had to specifically look for it. Because in regular 6, it's just... It's not that useful. Like, I'm sure it's useful, but, like... It's not essential like this in regular 6. Like, this would have come in handy so much, knowing that through the game. But I feel like the whole time when I was, like, ranting and raving, but, like, what am I missing? Apparently it was just this, was what I was missing. So I think that, like, part of my my complaint about, you know, these ROM hacks where you need to have a doctorate in the game to, like, figure it out, was I, I would have never just... Like, I, I had to use guides and stuff, figure it out. But, but yeah, just... Uh, and then I just tried and it, it worked. Uh, granted, again, we're leveled up a bunch, but... I don't think I'm gonna bother trying it at level, like, 80, whatever. But maybe I should. In any case, I'm gonna go back to the regular uh, game for a minute. And... See if I can unlock that stuff. But I'm gonna do like a straight up tutorial video about that fight. I do have like weaker, uh, like my old builds. I have half a mind to test it with that again. Like it should still work, it'll just be a little slower, is all. <clears throat> so, what am I doing here? Is it Yeah, I don't expect much more out of me than that. I just wanted to... After ranting and raving for like two hours, or however long I was ranting and raving, I just wanted to be like, this is how you do it. Did I do a hard... Oh, yeah. I hard saved a bunch of times. I beat him like... That was the fifth time I beat him today. 
three times before I did the stream just to, like, make good and sure that it was consistent and I wasn't just... Again, like, I, I got hit with the zombie at the start. Like, the Celeste zombie. That's, like, the worst-case scenario, but... Just fumble the RNG a little bit and try again if that happens. Let me... Give me SRM... Where is it? Uh, we will... This always takes so many brain cells, I don't know why. I try to do it backwards sometimes. Rename. Okay, okay, this is what I want to do, okay. So we're gonna copy this. Copy that, and paste it. Paste. And then... Should make a video of this, too. Then we're gonna copy this. Copy this name. Switch the name over here. Perfect. And we will reboot. But yeah, like, I wasn't even researching T-Edition. I was just like, oh, Raccoon's good. Is it in the game? Yep. Because at first I wanted to freeze Madius, because it's like, oh, no enemies can... Well, I wonder if I can get Northern Cross. It doesn't seem like I can get Northern Cross. I don't think there's a way you can freeze enemies. I don't think there's... I don't think so. So we will load this back up. And see if <clears throat> we unlocked all the EX stuff, wherever that might be. Presuming I didn't screw up the saves or whatever. I am the Emperor. Oh my god, it's cat. I bought the Cydia yet? A minute, you know. Makes me look so cool and hip, it's my kind of game. No, I, I haven't played it yet. How'd you know? Yeah, Raccoon is the real Ultima weapon. Yeah, no kidding. What even has Raccoon in OG? I don't remember. I forget if it is actually Cheshire or not. I'm not sure. You son of a submariner. Thank you for the laugh. Better buy Duo Decim too, or else I'll hate, hate, hate you. Isn't Duo Decim, like, not that great? It's you, I'm saved. Kafka's been talking to me for who knows how long. No. No, Leo. I guess talk to everyone that's here. Glad to be back and all, but man, the world sure got wrecked while we were gone. Ooh, finally made it back. You wound up traveling through a bunch of different worlds while you're on your own adventure, you see. But yeah, I don't know. It didn't... It really didn't seem like, for that fight anyway, that the speed really did anything. Now, I don't know if I would notice if I was like 15 levels lower and tried that again. That exact setup. The City of Two, okay, is the best one. I still haven't played any of them. I hear that I should. Yeah, <laughs> they need to make a sequel where you just play as the raccoon. Yeah, and then you just... This is this omnipotent being, it just... It restores the world back to the world of balance. Hey, it's Hummingway. What? Listen to the music, not in the... Oh. Oh, that's neat. There's music here that's not in the sound player? What's that about? It's actually quite a bit of it. Look at all this. That's Luffy, yeah. But yeah, I guess with other battles, it's it would have made a huge difference. Oh, <coughs> oh, 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 oh. They should have given her the... The, um... Meteor sound effect. I didn't want to go here, I don't think. I think I want to go to the... Like, one of the rooms. One of the achievement rooms is where I'm trying to go. Oh, naming ways in the other room. The paintings are in one of the collection rooms. Oh, okay. Which other room? The the one that I just ran out of. I'll fix Gao's name before it before it's all over, just for kicks. 
Oh, look at all this. Cloud. Cloud. Does this have anything to do with... Uh, I couldn't imagine. Does this have... This doesn't have anything to do with the... thing, does it? The one you keep running out of... <laughs> before you see him. Okay, maybe this is all of it, I don't know. Cosmos? A character in the... So not Cosmos? <clears throat> Crystals. I'll make sure that... <clears throat> I presume there's probably... No... I presume there's probably paintings that also have the the guys, the guys in it. Legend of the guy was. Oh, did I miss? Which one did I miss? Damn it! Oh, uh, none of them, I guess. Well, I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong. I don't really care that much. Stoic board. Oh. A Ayumi. Fourth rank member of the Mithril Musketeers, an elite guard that serves the Bastoken president in Norg. Ayami undergoes training as a samurai and eventually becomes the youngest musketeer ever. Where are the other two? Her strict sense of self-discipline is reflected in the words that Katana ex exists to remain sheathed. Looked like one of the paintings was missing. I must have just screwed up one of the saves. I'm not really that worried about it. <clears throat> if I could beat all the bosses, like, 17 levels lower, I'm, I could probably handle it now. But I don't know, some of them might still be a pain in the ass. Guardian, so probably someone from 10, if I already guess. Oh, are these all going to be Final Fantasy XI characters? I mean, I guess so. What? <laughs> Let me read that again. Leader of the Sand Ryan Temple Knights. Considered the finest sword master in the kingdom, and is highly respected by her fellow knights. Kirilla in injured her left eye while training, while sparring with Prince Tryon during the previous sword tournament. However, she keeps this fact. Oh, I was gonna say it's pretty obvious if you're wearing an eye patch. Also, check the achievement room and see which ones I'm missing. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that too. Like I might as well. It's kind of a low, uh, you know. Not a super long stream, I'm gonna take a kinda take her easy tonight. Shantoto. Yeah, it's Toto Lee Final Fantasy XI characters. One of the three professors of the Federation of Winders. She's a former minister of the Oristry. She whips Agio Marugio into shape to become the current minister. Or as high one by one of magic parasite Paradise Weekly. Describes Shantoto by saying, She is as high and mighty as young Tonka's fiery mountain and as rough cut as the rocky Gustaberg ranges wanges. Why? What's with all the rhyming miming? Anyway. Crystal board. Is that like Bristol board, but like the Final Fantasy version of it? There just isn't any Bristol, there's only Crystal. Yeah, that's Lion. There's a Hume female from Norg who investigates the activities of the Beastmen and Shadowed Kindred. She possesses a strong will and a cheerful personality. Together with Aldo of the Tenshido and the Dark Knight Zed, Zide, and the Adventurer Lion eventually face off with a great evil that has operated from the shadows for 10,000 years. Is that... Is all is everyone in Eleven female? Like all the char like main characters? I didn't realize that. I thought Lion was a guy this whole time. I see him, he, her, and Record Keeper. Just thought that she was a he, but I was wrong. 
thought Zed was also a fella. Prish. Prish is an elven girl who lives in the ta Tavzanian safehold and studies theology. For certain dogmatic reasons, she was previously locked away in Tavzania Cathedral, the abhorrent one. For a time, Prish defended the citizens as one of the safehold's patrol leaders. After meeting the adventurer, she eventually gets caught up in the conflict surrounding the Keeper of the Apocalypse. So I definitely miss like a bar achievement. And I'm sure there's some like you haven't used Bushido enough and like that sort of thing. That's uh, Alpha Afmo, however you say her name. She's one of my first healers in Record Keeper. She had instants, they were handy. AKA the Royal Puppeteer is a pure hearted puppet master who serves Empress Nashmira too. She's accompanied by her automaton friends. Ni Jing and Ov Jang. In truth, Afmo is none other than Nashmira herself, the 16th Empress of the At Ergen Majab dynasty. However, the actual reins of government lie in the hands of her, her visor and older brother, Razfod. While pursuing the astral candescence and a pirate ship, Afmo learns the truth about the Empire. Together with the Emperor, together with the adventurer and the private Lucef. Aphmau sets on sets out to prevent a Ragnarok war from occurring. I don't know what that means. How you doing, Demo One? See, I guess I missed the painting. But... Oh, this other stuff I could read that I'm not going to. There's naming way. Naming way. Yeah, predominantly. I forgot about that Four Heroes of Light game. I should consider that. It's it's like an unofficial. Like, final, like, it's a lot like the NES Final Fantasies, but it's like its own thing. I forgot about those games. I should maybe think about them. What's this again? Information about this. The paintings look weird. Try inspecting the suits of armor near the room's entrance. Is it like a bug? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know and I'm not sure. Yeah, we, uh, wasted Madius. We made him Fladius Armadius, because he's a dick. I meant to say that after I killed him the first time. Fladius my Madius, but I forgot. But I'm saying it now. Figure out how to turn that into a t-shirt. So we're missing, that's probably a fish that we're missing. And another fish over here, probably. Is my guess. I don't think I have any fish in my inventory. Well, I have a bonefish. But not the rest of the fish. Yeah, thanks to the almighty raccoon. Yeah, like, go figure it. <laughs> go figure it. Like, I never would, like, just experimenting with this, I would have never figured that out. But that was crucial for the fight. Oh, these are the, the 12 magical weapons. Wielded by the King of Kings, Triple H. Said that when chaos befalls, the world Excalibur will appear for its rightful armor. What about the Soul Edge? Or the Soul Eater, I'm thinking Suikoden. I was thinking Soul Edge, but it's Soul Eater's Suikoden reference, if anything. But yeah, I was considering, like, do I New Game Plus it a bunch and get, uh... Um, a bunch of those, uh, whatever. Oh yeah, I need all four types of fish and also the Robo Imp and Mini Airship. Bone carving, yeah. So I, is this, yeah, okay. So I guess some of these are just, whatever that is, I didn't get. Yeah, I didn't get the Robo Imp or the Mini Airship. We could go do that just for the hell of it. Like, again, this isn't going to be a long stream. I'm just kind of... I just wanted to show that off, and I can kind of mess around here for a bit. I'm not going to be on for a crazy long time. Because I was some tired the other day. Wait, what? What room did I miss? Did I not go in here? 
Or did I not go in the sentry? No, it's right here. Dances with Moogles. So I don't have a bunch of... A bunch of you haven't spammed... Oh, Liberate South Figaro during the banquet event. Blue magic, I presume. What would your thing be? Terra? Take the mementos of... Oh, yes, yes. <clears throat> Mastered all Bushido techniques. Well, I don't know. We are missing a lot of stuff. Well, we didn't get all the rages. I'm not going to do that. I don't even know where to begin with that. A lot of the stuff, really. <clears throat> all characters have at least one extra outfit, yes. Played for over a hundred hours. Well, technically, yes. Technically. Begin a new game plus game. Yeah. Obtained every magic item. Yeah. Hey, aloha, Arson. Have yourself a good one. Extra. No, it says I completed it. Completed Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy T Edition, and Final Fantasy T Edition X. I think that's presumptuous of them to assume that I've beaten Final Fantasy VI. Like, probably, but that's presumptuous. Like, if we're counting Final Fantasy VI as separate from T-Edition, then I didn't necessarily beat Final Fantasy... I'm just saying, I didn't necessarily... I have. But I haven't necessarily beaten... Uh, VI. But yeah, it's saying I beat all the bosses, I guess. So, so I don't know, and I missed all whatever this stuff is. I don't know how you would ever... Does this tell me, actually, what it, what it all is? Okay, it does. Build a collection room in the beginner's house with stuff. Start a new game, game, collect every make it high. High total step count, okay. Every side quest, right? Lock many characters, achievements. Defeat every enemy in the bonus patch, which I guess I did. <clears throat> yeah, so let's just spam the high speedy. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Hey, what's the matter? Come on. Are you saying you haven't? Be no, I have. Multiple times. <clears throat> but maybe I haven't. The game doesn't actually know if I have or not. <clears throat> the only way the game would know that is if it scoured my YouTube... <clears throat> my YouTube history. Because I... <coughs> I've been it once. On my channel. The advanced version, at least. Like I said, I do... I do still want to play the Pixel remaster of this, and that's coming out, like, in a month. See, so, yeah, I don't expect anything else too mind-blowing this stream. I'm just gonna... <coughs> I'm gonna screw around the auction house for a bit, and then that's probably about all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a few fish, too, like, I'll... See, if I can get the key items real fast, I'll do that, but, like... I'm sure as hell not getting all the rages. I cannot be bothered. There's no fish in here. There's no fish here, either. Okay, good. Doesn't matter. Whatever. I also actually, just today found out about another Final Fantasy VI ROM hack. <clears throat> which, I forget the name of it off the top of my head, but I watched a SNES Drunk video and he just he brought it up before bringing up T-Edition. I'm like, this game actually also looks really good. I think there are four species of... I believe that is correct as well. What am I asking? So yeah, who knows what... um... rages I missed? Wonder if I missed something, like, real good. Oh, come on. Hey, Cody, what's going on? We did all the nitty-gritty stuff, now I'm just kind of messing around uh, as an excuse to stream more than 30 minutes. I'm not gonna have a terribly long stream tonight. Was it a recent vi Yeah, it was, like, the one that just... Like, he just uploaded it today, I think. It was, like, good... It was something like, best SNES ROM hacks part 4. 
He starts talking about a bunch of Super Mario ones, is how the video starts. But yeah, he like just released it. Hey, thank you, Scott. The bonus content was cool, but I gotta go. Yeah, no worries, Scott. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, good. The airship's even right here, too. Yeah, you probably thought, if I forgot the large, yeah. Never. I'm proud of you, Cody. You're very vigilant with the lard and remembering. Square should Square Enix should hire you as a lard consultant. That would have never passed if you were on watch. Hey, Sir Blake, how you doing? Kamikaze Ray, I am going to play the Mother Cognitive Dissonance Earthbound hack next. Well, it's not even a hack; it's a fan game. It's its own thing. But that's what I'm playing next. Yeah, like, I've been I've been watching SNES Drunk for years now. This chill guy loves the Super Nintendo games. Like, he plays other stuff. Yeah, butter is not lard. Yeah, not even close. Thank you, sir, Blake. Just gotta get my... Get my beard to flex. Ugh. Fifty thousand gil. Whatever. One mil one gillion. Wait. Oh, deadly Cody. I didn't realize you could get all four on the PS3. That's sick. Okay. I'm I'm actually happy to know though. I didn't think you could get three or four on the PS3 for some reason. I should do that just cause. Just because it's easier. Oh, and the Breath of Fire games, too. Nice. You're going to be set for a while, then. Those are two. Man, I have such a hard time with, like, if you ask me... Like, if you ask me what my favorite series is between Suikoden and Breath of Fire... Oh my god, that's a hard one. That, that just more depends on my mood. Because, like, Suikoden 2 is, like, one of my all-time favorite games. Like, without even thinking about it. But so is Breath of Fire 2, but for different reasons. Their respective ones were rough. Uh, Breath of Fire 3 I liked more than Suikoden 3. I'd probably say I liked... Breath of Fire 4 more than Suikoden 4, even though I like Suikoden 4 more than most people. And I would say I like Suikoden 5 more than Dragon Quarter. Not taking anything away from Dragon Quarter. But what one would I... So that's like, what, two, two for two? Is that like... Oh my god, actually, yeah, what would I even... Because Breath of Fire 1 versus Suikoden 1. I don't know. Same with Suikoden 2 and Breath of Fire 2, I don't know. Because they're both like, uh... Sort of connected, I guess. Yes. Yes, it is, Cody. Butter is salted lard, yeah. Have I played Grandia? I've played... Grandia 2. I actually have Grandia 1, I haven't given it a fair chance. I actually want, kind of want to play Grandia 2 again. I want to say it's like halfway accessible. Like it's not that hard to grab these days. But, but no, I played uh, Grandia 2. That game was really good. But yeah, no matter how you slice it, if you have the whole Breath of Fire, like Breath of Fire 1 to 4 and Suikoden 1 to 4, you're set. Yeah, I think that me saying that Suikoden 3 is my least favorite Suikoden is, like, kind of a hot take. Because most people be like, it's obviously 4. I don't agree, though. Although the first time I played 4, I would agree. I hated Suikoden 4 the first time I played it. But then I forced myself to play it, and I'm like, you know what, I actually really like this game. 
I just love how the Suikoden games are all so, like, interconnected. That was the first game that I had, or the first series that I can think of that were that connected. They just made me care that much more about, like, the world. It was just structured in a way that made sense. It's like, okay, well, you're in, you're not going to travel the whole world. You're just going to travel this part of the world. But in the next game, you're going to be in a separate part of the world. And then you might be in a town that you heard about in the first game. And then you might, you know, meet somebody that you heard about. Like, it's, it's, oh, it's just cool. I just love the way that it's all, like, woven together. And then you, like, play the, like, the super prequel one four, and it's like, why are you here? Now I have more questions. Yeah, I gotta really look, like, the way that it's structured is just weird. Or, like, the way that the battle system, like, it seems like the battle system was built for the game to be a lot bigger, and then it just wasn't. Um, I don't know, is the stream still dead? Out of money in the game yet? No, we're good. To grind a lot to level and discover the skills. Oh, you like combine attacks and stuff in, in uh, Grandia. Okay. I didn't know that. Or I didn't remember that, I should say. Might have been able to do it in Grandia too, I forget. Actually, I'm just... What if I just clean the auction house out? Like, will it eventually be like, fine, here's the thing you want. I'm so happy to have, like, all the battles of this game behind me now. But, like, God, was I mad about that Matius fight. But, like, unless you know the game, like, so well. Like, yeah, I'm sure there's, like... I watched someone else... Sega Jam, I think it was? I watched some other YouTuber do that fight, and it just... It wasn't my setup, so I'm like... I just, I don't want to. Like, there's got to be another way. I think Raccoon is the intended... strat there. I have no... there's no way that... I refuse to believe that it's not, but that's so... You have to know this game so well to know that. Like, oh, getting zombied and freeze? Better bring Raccoon along. Better use the Raccoon ability. Oh, yeah, okay. Probably KJ. I think he was kind of the first on the... He, he's posts a lot in that GameFAQs forum, too. I saw you there the other day, and I, it made me laugh. Just because, like, like I, I want to comment, but I just won't. Because, like, I, I made a comment on, like, that mega thread for it, and then you made a comment, I'm like, Tah! There you are. But yes, I think that is him. Hey, Nick, how you doing? But yeah, I'm, I'll get this, or I'll make an attempt to get this uh, thing here, and... Then I'll scroll through the rages. Do you have all the rages? All the rages. What a lovely chest. Don't bid. Don't bid. I can't. I can't. I, you posted right after me. I don't. I don't go by Mega Harv on YouTube or on Game Facts. I just go by Harv. But, like, I made a post about, like, I want a double fist rasp with the soul leader. How do I do it? And then I edited the comment. I wonder if you were posting when I was editing my comment. Like, if that, like, makes it go away for a minute or something. Anyways, I ended up spoiler tagging the comment. And I was like, oh, yeah, the 12 legendary weapons are a thing. Never mind. Got all the rages. Okay, cool. Actually, how about we uh, do that now? Because this is already annoying me. 
Although I understand why they can't, like... Well, I mean, I, I doubt you're exactly looking for me. And my name was different enough that... It wouldn't jump... That was before... Like, I had an account there since 2002, so, like, Hive wasn't taken... Yet. But then it was, like, everywhere else. I'm like, oh, Omega. And then if, now if that's taken, I use Omega. Because Megan Harvey keeps going places and snapping up Mega Harvey. She's too fast for me. Uh, Rages. So I'm missing this one. Yeah, it's all the Rages. Oh, uh, just need to get more space in your PS3. Yeah, can't you just use, like, an external hard drive? You even install yeah, even install an SSD. Oh, an SSD, really? Surprised to hear that. I've hooked up my external hard drive to my PS4 before, but I don't, like, leave it hooked up. I usually have it just hooked up to my computer, but... I did swap them back and forth when I was doing, like, the Final Fantasy VII Remake videos I was doing. So that's just how I was getting capturing the footage. Or, like, images and stuff. Hey, Alan, what's going on? Never bothered to complete the rages, never saw them that useful. If you're just playing vanilla, it's not overly useful. The rages were, like, pretty much mandatory for that Matius fight. Did I really? <laughs> I don't know. If I did, it was an accident. I know I'm going through it, like, quickly, but... but no, there's, like, whatever that one is... Between Antares and Armored Weapon. Yeah, they are a lot easier to get. But yeah, Alan, that, that Matias fight, we just beat him two times. If you don't have this rage, this Cheshire rage, may as well forget about it. Like, you can still do it, but... The streamlight... The streamlines the fight so... So much. Slow down the video and watch it later. Alright. But yeah, so yeah, these ones would be all the ones that... Um... You know, you don't get at the Soul Shrine, I guess. So you gotta make more of a conscious effort to nab them wherever they are. Should you... Oh, man. Should you start with Suikoden or Breath of Fire? Um... Jeez. Suikoden 1 is shorter? Because you, you have... I forget if you said you have all the Breath of Fires, or, like, it would just probably be 3 and 4, if you got it on the PS3. It depends how much time you have. Because, like, Suikoden 1, you will you could probably beat it in, like, not rushing. You could probably beat it in about 20 hours. The only thing about the Suikoden games is, if you want to get all of the Stars of Destiny in the games, you're pretty much going to have to use a walkthrough. Because there's always, like, one or two that's like, how would I ever figure that out? Yeah. <laughs> Super easy question, I know. But, like, Breath of Fire 3 is a classic, too. But, but I would say, like... So we could have one super short, so, like, you could get a taste of that series, like, quickly. So I'm inclined to say, try, start with that. Like, Suikoden 1 and then, like, 2 specifically, like, back-to-back. -back. I kind of look at them as the same game. They're, like, the most connected of the series. Okay, you have Breath of... Oh, right, okay. Breath of Fire 1 and 2 on the Switch. I love Breath of Fire 1, but, like, if you're playing it for the first time, I don't think it aged as well as Suikoden 1. I, I gotta say Suikoden 1. Between the two. Like, if you're... Suikoden just, like, kind of starts hot and stays hot. Breath of Fire takes a minute to warm up. No, pardon the pun. Start with Suikoden. Yeah. I don't think you'll be disappointed. 
And none of them are like oh, like particularly long games. But like on the other hand, with like Breath of Fire and Breath of Fire 2 especially, like I did like a couple short uh, videos. I didn't even continue going through here. I did a couple Breath of Fire 1 videos, but as I'm sure you noticed, I went all in with Breath of Fire 2. I didn't leave very many stones unturned there. I'm not sure what else I could even really talk about in Breath of Fire 2. Like, I went through- I didn't even plan on going through all the tenants, but I did. Because I'm like, I still want to upload, um... I still want to upload a new video every day the past year. Like, the year that just happened, and I'm like, up these tenants that'll give me, like, another month. But now I'm glad I uploaded them. What annoys me, though, was I went to submit them to game FAQs because I thought it's a good place to have them. They rejected my videos because they're like, the game has to take up, you know, the majority of the screen. And I'm like, how do you expect me to record a vertical video then that way? How am I, I have to make my video, sm like me, smaller, surrounded by black to get to... F no. Fine game FAQ, screw you. Yeah. Basically what David said, yes. I'm also level 97. Which is a bit overkill. But I specifically chose 97 because... When I do the video about it, I just want to be like... Just grind to this level and then you won't have to worry about, you know, level 2 holy, level 3 flare, any of that stuff. But part of me wants to get to 87 and try it. But I think having, like, a super high level, it would help detail the strategy. Like, I don't really need to show... Like, for the purposes of a walkthrough, I don't need to be struggling. So long as I just explain what I'm doing properly. Like, I know I just basically did that with the stream, but I wanted to make, like, an actual... Like, separate video about it. That's less facetious than my Ultima video. Oh my god. Okay, so let's... Let's see if there's fish. So yeah, all in all, I would certainly recommend this. But... You know, just be prepared. You know, it's just... It's, it's kind of a typical ROM hack card. But... But, I mean, the world of Ruin was always kind of like that. You just run around and... How do I reset that? Out. Mm. Mm. Nom nom, fish. Come here. Come here, fish. Fish. Yeah. But, yeah, the lack of the leap command is so handy. What do you get for beating all bosses, by the way? <laughs> Just like, uh, you get a few paintings and an achievement. Like, you get a Mega Elixir per one you kill, which... I... okay. There's easier ways to get Mega Elixirs. But... I'm not convinced they even got them all. Bonefish. Vector Sardine. I need a Yellow Globe also, which isn't here. Oh, well, let's get it. And crystal bass. Yeah, base. Better than nothing, yeah. I more just had to beat Madeus just because I'm like, no. I'm figuring this prick out. Like I brute for I brute force the battle a little bit, but like I don't think anyone would really think much of it if you grind a level ninety whatever for the for the super bosses anyway. Like that's not a crazy 
idea to begin with. Source? Okay, well, let's go back to the auction house for a minute. Unless I did get them all, I don't know. Oh, is that how that works? I have to actually speak with Banana Boy here. Oh, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. What do you mean? These fish move real fast. Okay, good. I suppose another thing I could do, just for the shits of it, is put other people in the party and try to do, like, their things enough to maybe trigger the achievements. Don't do a thing. Because the enemies here are just turbo weak and stuff. I'm not going to get all the rages, though, so, like, why even bother? Never mind. Uh, never mind. Yeah, I don't recall. I don't know how, like... I don't think that the raccoon spell is even really that useful in regular Final Fantasy VI. Like, it looks like it... If it functions similarly, yes, it, it's still good, but, like... You, you're not throttled with freeze and zombie the same way. Like, you don't deal with status effects the same way here. Oh, yeah. Oh, when Final Fantasy 3, like, first released? Oh, yeah. Like, when this was brand new? Oh, yeah. Like, I probably, like, of all the games I watched my brother play, probably watched him play Final Fantasy 3 the most. It's got, it's got to be up there. And like, what what do you have to compare it to back? That Final Fantasy two, like a few a few games. This was ninety four. Like Earthbound wasn't out. Chrono Trigger wasn't out. Mario RPG wasn't out. I don't think Lufia two was out. Use fast forward button like crazy. Oh yeah, I could imagine. Yeah, I got Final Fantasy seven for Christmas. And a PlayStation. That was that was a magical Christmas. That was. But we got a third party memory card that didn't save anything. So I played the first part of seven a bunch of times. And eventually I got to Heligunner, I think, without saving. That's as far as I got before I actually got a save file. Kind of makes me wonder, like, how much of that actually made me like the game more, because it, like... I just, you know, I kept building up anticipation until, like, finally got out of Midgar and could save it and stuff. Never really considered, though. I also got Final Fantasy X2 for Christmas, so... <laughs> you gotta take the chunky with the smooth. Yeah, and my brother, too, he got me, uh... Uh, final, like the, what was it, Versus books? I forget. No, 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 no. What was it? Completely unauthorized Final Fantasy VII Ultimate Guide, anyways. I still have it somewhere. It came with a pretty cool poster, too, but I don't think I have it anymore. I don't know what uh, ever happened to it. Like, you would think that this rare item would be like a one in like three chance showing up. Three things here. Anything that's like PS... Like, I wouldn't mind playing like the new Ratchet and Clank game. That's a series I've completely neglected that I really liked. Like, Ratchet and Clank 1, 2, and 3. Love those games. 4 I thought was kind of like, eh. You're losing it. You're losing it a bit. But the new one looks good. I'm gonna have to play Demon Souls again at some point because I hate myself. Like, obviously, like, 7 Remake and stuff. FFX2? Thought people love those games? Horny people, yes. It wasn't all bad, like, so, like the battle system was good, but, like, everything that was annoying about Final Fantasy X 
was like amplified in 10 too. Like, oh, here's this really annoying minigame to do. Remember dodging 200 lightning strikes? Try calibrating tower. Okay. You go calibrate tower 7 in Final Fantasy X 2. And you report back to me when you've done it. Actually, don't do that because I'll never hear from you again. Like, I, I mean it when I say this. Calibrating Tower 7 in Final Fantasy X-2 was more satisfying than getting the Platinum Trophy in Final Fantasy X. Or harder. Both. It was ridiculous. The, the reaction time you need is ridiculous. Finally. Check out Dark Souls 3 Cinders mod. I still need to play, like, vanilla Dark Souls 3. Which actually got, like, kind of close. Oh, it was a few months ago now. I was actually feeling Dark Souls, but it passed. But I mean, it's been a while since I played a Dark Souls. But yeah, I could still check it out. Yeah, it don't remind me of the lightning strike dodges. If it wasn't the lightning dodges, it was the chocobo races, it was the butterflies. One of those fucked you if you played Final Fantasy X too. Or, uh, Final Fantasy X. It's funny, because you'll find people are like, oh, I didn't... First time I played Final Fantasy X, the Choco... I do not remember having, like, that much of a trouble with the Chocobo races. Like, it didn't leave an impression on me. Uh, but the lightning dodges traumatized me. But then when I streamed it, like, it was the reverse. Because there's a trick to the lightning dodges, it's just ridiculously tedious. Ha <laughs> And then, uh... The Chocobo races, I just was... Oh. I was... Rage. Rage in there. I gotta try to figure out, like, my top ten rages. My top... My top ten rage fits. That had to be one of them. The Chocobo races in ten. Final Fantasy ten. That had to be one. Demon Souls had to be one. Star Tropics had to be one. Hell, even like the Matias T edition was probably one. And that's not even counting any of the stuff I raged at and forgot about. They have one to calibrate Tower 7. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it when you say it to me like that. Pensive Scarlet, how you doing? Yeah, I'm not sure why he's. That one's red this time around. I mean, yeah, like, Final Fantasy X, like, to just beat it, I guess, wasn't too bad. But if you wanted to do the side content... Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, uh, nice. Back to nice. It's the easiest of the three, really? Oh, uh... Dark Souls 3, do you mean? I will definitely revisit Dark Souls, but I, I definitely need to be in a torture myself mood. I think I've tortured myself enough with this... this one. For the time being. That's why yesterday I'm like, I'm just gonna try to figure out the Medius fight and not stream. And just do that quietly until I figure it out. Where am I going? To Narsh. No, I'm actually going the right way. Imagine that. <laughs> Once broke a controller with my hands during that FF10 Chocobo. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. It just seems totally... It seems more luck-dependent than anything. Still better than Chocobo Hot and Cold. Guys in the Zone Eaters belly. Oh, were they? I, even re I didn't even remember. Oh, yeah. 
Those guys, yeah, yeah. I've been in the right spot. Oh yeah, this room that I keep leaving. I don't remember what room that is. Hopefully it was that room. Naming way. Well, that's humming way. I'll check here in a second, but like, is it this one? No. Oh, here you are. Would you like to change? Yes. Gah. We're gonna fix your name, buddy. There you go. Promised myself I wouldn't throw it or throw anything else. Instead, I just clenched so bad I crushed the controller with my hands. Well, you kept your word. You didn't throw the controller. So I'm proud of you. Didn't have to. Pretty sure the only time I ever broke a controller is captured on that stream, that Star Tropic stream. Which, I want you to understand, I was fuming. But there was still that part of me that thought, you know, it would be really funny if I broke this fucking controller right now. So I did. Now I kind of want to do like a rage compilation or like top 10 rage. Or do I? I think I do. Do I? It just almost seems like an appropriate thing to do for over 9,000 subscribers, you know what I'm saying? On top of the obvious Dragon Ball stuff I'm gonna do. Because I have to. When I get 9,001 subscribers, I have to play a Dragon Ball game. I can't not. Like, I want to play Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure, but I think, like, for the circumstance, playing Attack of the Saiyans would make more sense. So, I don't know. We'll see. We're, like, 50 away. 51 away. So that, that, you know. Fast approaching. What the hell am I doing? I didn't even do what I was trying to do. Jesus Christ. No. It's not like I have any clear path. Now I'm just kind of live and chatting. Seen you, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. There's a few Mega Man ROM hacks I raged at pretty good too. Mega Man CX, I think I raged pretty hard. I like to see. Oh, Budokai. I haven't. Have I ever played any of the Budokai games? I had. I played one, I remember it didn't really click with me, so I didn't really play any of the other ones. I mean, I could just go on a Dragon Ball bender for a bit after 9,000. Why not? Like, I mean, just because I'm like, I'm gonna stream these games, I can I'll shift gears and play something different. Like, I'll always come back to Final Fantasy, like, it's, I... Whatever. Like, I still want to, like, revisit 7 Remake and... That doesn't really take priority, but, like, I do want to play the Intergrade DLC, and I do want to revisit 14. But, like, I don't think if I, even if I were to, like, play some Dragon Ball, like, even if I could just try the Budokais quickly or something, I don't know. I'll think about it as I go, but I'll probably wind up playing Attack of the Saiyans, at least Attack of the Saiyans and, like, Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. Because that game actually looks really good, there's just no Saiyans in it. So, doing that for an over 9,000 subscriber special just doesn't seem uh, proper. Seems like I'm missing the point a little bit if I don't play something with Saiyans in it. Specifically Vegeta. Specifically the game with that moment in it. Although it's over 8,000 because it's more closely follows the manga. Manga? Pence of Scarlet? I love Soul Calibur. It's like... Soul Cal like, I played so much Soul Calibur with my brother. That's, like, another, like, like, I mean, we played games all the time, but, like, my brother's, like, a freak at Soul Calibur. For whatever reason, he's just insanely good at it. But, like, because, like, I, even though I played him and he whooped my ass, 
if I played, you know, normal people, it's like, oh, I'm actually not awful at this game. I'm just awful compared to him. Because <laughs> he's just so good. I don't know why. But no, I love Soul Calibur. I did a few streams of Soul Calibur 5, but... Or, I'm sorry, 6. But I, I just got sidetracked from it. Which also reminded me, uh... I, com I stopped... I completely didn't, like, stop playing Mario Party. Which is insane. I was so excited for that. But it was glitching like crazy when I was playing. Like, was, I could not maintain a connection. So, like, what's the point? I remember you streamed one game at a time. Oh, I remember you streamed a game at one time coinciding with a wrestling game. Oh, wait. I don't know if this is what you're talking about, but I remember there was, like, it was around WrestleMania season that I streamed, like, Galactic Wrestling. Stream a game at one time. Coinciding with a wrestling game. Oh, the Imp Robot's actually the right color here. But yeah, Soul Calibur's great. I played a lot of 1, played a lot of 2. I played 3, but I had no one to play it with. Soul Calibur 4 online was a lot of fun. Soul Calibur 5 I didn't care for. It just... Sung Mina is my main, and she just wasn't in it. So I'm like, I don't care. Lizard Man, well, he was sword in it, but not... the Lizard Man I like to use. My lizard man strategy. Oh, all the fish were all in the same one here. Oh, yeah, 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 the uh, the MHCW stuff. I kind of, I'm considering whenever, like, the AEW game comes out, maybe trying that again. But I don't know. I mean, I can just, I can try it, and if I'm not feeling it, or you guys aren't feeling it, I just I don't have to keep doing it. Like, it was fun for a while, but, like... It was... it was... oddly a lot of work. One missing. We're still... what? Well, we actually missed the item, I didn't even realize. Like that one ending where Sophia... Sophitia... and Cassandra catch... Tila sneaking around their house. Like the hula hoop girl? It was always fun to think of how they would go about- Ooh, punishing her. Oh, they'd punish her, alright. Sophia. Oh yeah, this is missing. What's missing? Is it something I cashed in? Like, I don't know. What am I missing? Tira, yeah. But yeah, Sophia with like her, her 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 dick shots, like she'd knee people in the groin. She also would do that Hurricane Rana thing where she would like jump up on you, so like her crotch was in your face, but then she'd twist her hips and snap your neck. And Cassandra would like hit you with her ass. I hated fighting people who were Cassandra because I sucked with her, but I got whooped by her more than like anybody. But yeah, Sung Min is my girl. Which is weird, because, like... Most people are, like... Like, Keelik is better. Like, he's, like, you know... Like, a higher tier, if you even believe in any of that tier stuff. But, like... I just could... My, just... Sung Mina's fighting style just made more sense to me than Keelik, so I don't know why. So I just always used her. Her unblockable wasn't great, but... If you timed it correctly, it could... You could deer in the headlights people with it. Because they're just like, ugh. But if you move, like, one degree to one direction, it misses. I didn't realize her butt actually had <laughs> jiggle physics. Well, Sebastian, how you doing? <laughs> 
Just showing some love. Got home from the movie. Saw Scream. It sucked. You can actually get Silka screens from the auction house. So that's what was missing. Do I just fight another Neochu? Sung Mina had that attack where she forced an opponent's legs right in th That's true, she did. I loved using that move, actually. Or, uh, I'm sorry. Well, I would use that. It would be part of, like... Playing with Sung Mina, like, you... If you're fighting me, and I'm Sung Mina, you do not want to try to ring... ring me out. Because, like... If you back me into a corner, I'm just going to do that crotch thing, but then dump you over me and throw you out. On the other hand, if you're going to get wrung out, I'm going to run up to you, and I'm going to do, like, that over-the-head, grab you by the neck, and, like, power bomb you out of the ring. But yeah, I would, I would do the regular nut shot sometimes to be like, oh, this is the move I'm going to do, so people wouldn't think that I'm going to dunk them out, but then it's like, ha <laughs> sucker. Not sure if you get them from the auction house or another Neochu. I forget who. Uh, what? Well, I don't remember whose uh, quest that was to start with. Is it Nikea? If I can remember where it is. I think that's Kalingan. I'm like, yeah, that's the Veld. It's here. It's right here. Oh, I, I love ringing people in. I especially love doing it in the, in the last round when people aren't expecting it. Because they do it first round, people will be like, okay. You're one of those ring out guys. But if you're like two for two, and like his last round, nothing like a ring out. Okay, maybe not. Oh, I gave it to Dwayne. Whoa. Okay, well, I don't know then. I don't know, maybe you have to actually New Game Plus to get it. I don't know. I'm not gonna be tor too torn up about it. I'm just like I said. I'm just sort of like I'm surprised I'm still streaming, but I'm an addict, so I'm a streaming addict. Uh, but like the stuff that was stressing me out is done, so it's like ah, I don't mind just kind of chatting and fucking around here for a bit. Uh, Dwayne, Dwayne the tr Dwayne the tub. I'm drowning. But yeah, watching me play this game, you'd probably figure I fucking hated it. And maybe at times I did a little bit. <laughs> a lot of work went into it. Most of what set me off was just, like I said, my new show that most people won't care about. Yeah. Well, let's just try. Got it without New Game Plus, thinking the auction house. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Well, I'll fight another Neo Chu for just because. I know I just have Edgar in the party, but whatever. Should probably just do the auction house then, that would make more sense. Because it's not like the Neo Chu's just dropped it, it was like a key item. So, let's do that. Never mind then.
But yeah, once I discovered Soul Calibur, I'm like, I don't need any other fighting games. This is the one for me. I just can't be arsed to learn another moveset. Back when I first played Soul Calibur, I used, like, everybody. But as time went on, I'm like, alright, Sung, Sung Mina and Lizard Man. That's it. Do I eat zebra jerky? I've never tried it. Maybe someday. Katrin just lying there, yeah. Forever. Forever and ever. You're gonna pop that baby out or what? Neo Chu probably has less RNG. I'll try this a few times. I'll do this auction house thing for until I get annoyed with it, then I'll try the forest. But I don't think it's gonna be there. So I specifically remember it. Like, unless they do just drop it, but it was last time. Like, we had to... Like, it was after the fight, and, like, when we were back on, like, the overworld or whatever, it's like, what's this? A switch? No. I, uh... It's having reference Shenmue recently, as do. But, yeah. Yeah, soul caliber. Yeah, but it's a sword, not a gun. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, like, you say that, but, like, I'm trying to remember if Cervantes' soul cal- No, he had the soul edge, which had bullets, so never mind. Your joke worked. Because I was gonna be, like, actually. Because Cervantes does, like, he was the owner of the soul edge. But he could, like, shoot from his gun. But he didn't- he never had the soul caliber, so. It should've- now that I say it out loud, that should have been the Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur 22. Rifle. Humbaba's offspring. It's a plot twist, she cheated on Dwayne with Humbaba. Like, I don't know, he was a freak in the sheets. Yeah, actually. Actually. Yeah, Excalibur is a sword, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, like, why Excalibur is spelled so weird. Because that's not how you spell Calibur. But Excalibur. So I guess that was the idea, but... It took me way too long to realize that. I feel like I'm screaming. I should stop screaming. Okay, I'm already annoyed with this, so let's go to the forest. Well, let's actually give us a party, though. I really don't feel like... So get out of my way. Although Edgar could probably Ultima them to death. Why even bother? We also didn't fight Ashura, now that I think about it, this playthrough, so let's just do that for the hell of it. In case that matters for some reason. <laughs> we need to rule 34 Katrin and Humbaba. It may already exist, I've never looked for it, so... If you find anything, let me know. Actually, actually, do I have a Neo Chu in my rage list? Can you even get it in your rage list? 
Uh, yes and yes. Scourge. Full caliber as a tacky girl. Oh, yeah. So at the time, so it was easy to figure out what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But for later titles, I mean, like, tal. Yeah. The only thing I hate more in fighting a good Cassandra is probably a good Talon. This is... What? I didn't rem Okay. I didn't remember these being things here. No matter. Did I refight Titan? I uh, no. And I already forgot to refight the shore anyway, so wouldn't worry about it too much. Yeah, I don't know. Aren't these different color? Different colored neo shoes. I guess they were just stray neo shoes. No, I don't know. What if I steal from them? What up? Both dinosaurs. I guess so. I don't remember that here last time, but it's here now. You're not gonna steal, it's gonna annoy me. Okay, fine. Oh, okay. I guess it just drops it halfway random. Okay, neat. We're good. We're good now. <laughs> if you're not looking with detail, you can see Harv has a Moiken haircut. Yeah, Philippe, yeah. Go, uh, go, go is Minwoo. It really jacks up his magic power. That was essential for the Medius fight. We did, we did it already, like, right at the start of the, uh, right start of the stream. Now I'm just kind of screwing around, chatting, with no real clear goal. Oh, we're going to beat Ashura up, because I feel like it. But yeah, I've just been, just been doing the bald head lately. Yeah. Buzz is heading left to tail. I don't think I was streaming when I, I did this, but like back when I had long hair, I shaved. I had long hair and a beard. Like it was probably about this length, this beard, the beard that I shaved off. But I had long hair. I shaved everything but this and this. And but it was long enough that I could tie it together. And I walked around like that for like two weeks. It wasn't always tied together, but like. But I had the horn and like the just that. Uh, yes, hell and, well. I guess the second one was heaven. I, I don't know if I've ever seen the heaven emperor. Like, if that wasn't him. Uh, but we did fight two phases, so it might have been heaven and hell. Yeah, in... In, in Final Fantasy IV, Ashura and Leviathan are a couple. I don't think that's the case in any of the other ones. Yeah, Tyson Kidhorn. I guess so, yeah. 
But yeah, now that I'm like, I'm pretty over leveled. But like, my strategy's a lot more sound now. Like, I don't, like, if I could just go, go back and I could, I could try it. I'm not going to tonight. But. But I think if I went back and tried to fight him with the same levels I am now, but with the strategy I have now, we would get through it. Because honestly, the trick to that fight... One second. The trick to that fight is... Uh, this rage, right here. The raccoon rage. Or, uh, Cheshire. Cheshire. Uh, but cast raccoon, it's heals the party, gets rid of all status ailments except dead death, cure zombie, death sentence, everything. But it doesn't revive from death. I don't think I could do that fight if I with this setup without that. I'm convinced that's the intended way for like to beat this guy. I'm gonna fight Titan just because I want to. Because why? Okay, sure. The hell am I doing? Malulu's charm. I forget if Titan was back here or not. Also, I don't know what kind of, like, wonderful secrets are in the Colosseum. I imagine there's probably something in there that's worth digging up, but I'll be damned if I can find it. Or if I care enough to find it, I guess. I wonder if Chronodia... I don't know that is in this from hack. I don't think so. Who is refresh my memory? Is that another Final Fantasy 2 bot? I'm just like name's not ringing a bell. Did I just go in a big big old circle. I'm not sure. Um I wonder if Raccoon is one of the Mog animals where he wears the pheasant thing. I don't know. No idea. But just having Gogo -Go with all that's like, he's so versatile in this hack, it's crazy, like, how useful he is. Oh. Falagamaranda. As I like to call him. Oh, a Super Boss exclusive to FF1 Anniversary Edition. Got it. I haven't seen them around. I'm inclined to think they're not. Go straight. This isn't gonna take long. This is what happens when you break the game.
see, I don't know if I'll bother doing, like... Because I do want to make that separate Matius fight... Uh, video. I might also do one for Altamesia, but other than that, I don't think I'm gonna, like, go through them all and do it. I just think those are probably the two hardest ones. Yeah. Ooh, Titan's swole, for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wasn't sure if there's like... Well, let's go back here for a second. Look at the achievements again. Yes, we're here. I forget what my other motive was. I had some other thing I was gonna do, I thought. Not in here. Yeah, they got all this crap. Chocobo weed. I thought one of the games, like, really heavily implied that it was, like, you know, catnip, basically, for chocobos. Chocobo nip, I guess you would say. I keep going to the, not the one I want to. Why am I having so much trouble getting back to it? There's only three doors, why can't I find the one I want? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, Jora getting wet for the giant. Well, she's... She would expressly be getting wet because of the giant snake, even. Even dirtier. Leviathan's the water. I, I appreciate it. I already looked at that one. One of these is new. Oh. <laughs> Took over 200,000 steps. Technically over 196,607 steps. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. We, we, we aren't quite over 2,000 steps. Neat. According to this raccoon is actually a ma- Oh. Raccoon is actually a Mog Water Rondo dance. Got it. So they switched it. Yeah, because, like, I... I didn't really get a lot of use out of Water Rondo. Like, I used it a little bit, but... So, yeah. I guess they just wanted to make it that much harder to... Why can I not find the... I was just there. I was just there. Like, wasn't there another room? Yeah, read this. That's what I'm trying to do. Steal many times. Oh, interceptor. I just, well, I could beat Vargas again, just for the, just for the achievement here. You're telling me I haven't performed Runic enough times yet? Give me a break. I mean, pre successfully perform runic many times. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing most of this. Gogo's not here early. Come on. I don't really care about a lot of these. I could do them, but again, I don't plan on this being an. Like, the stream's already like an hour and a half longer than I planned on it being, but, you know, we're here. Store HP to all allies and recover everything. It was one of... Uh, I presume one of these was. But no, I, I don't... I'll have to look again. There's one for... Fill the collection room. In the beginner's house with stuff. Unlock many achievements. 
Which ones am I missing? So it would obviously be the pub quest one. The other one I don't have. I guess the beginner's room one. If this is the beginner's room. Anyway. But yeah, I guess just the... Uh, that was its own thing. I don't know. Well, I'm... Again, like, I keep thinking about it, but, like, I'm not gonna get the rages, so, like, why even bother with the rest of them? Because I'm just not... I'm just not going to. <laughs> oh my god, stop it. We did it, we got away. I get every character achievement yeah, and do every pub quest. The other two. So yeah, in order to like realistically do it, I'd have to play through the whole game again. I'm not gonna do that. Will I ever revisit this hack? Probably not. But I don't say that like with malice in my heart, like I might have five episodes ago. Or even the last episode. I'm going nowhere in particular. Okay, so how about... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go here. Why not go... I don't know where to get them. Is the problem. I'm missing, like... 20 of them. I don't know where they are. I would be just guessing. Well, I'm gonna stand... I'm gonna stand on this hill for a bit. Just for a bit. So the next time I stream, I'm gonna do Mother Cognitive Dissonance. It's a mother... It's a fan game that spans... It's supposed to bridge the gap between Earthbound Beginnings and Earthbound, otherwise known as Mother 1 and Mother 2. Um, we'll see how frustrated I get with that. I'm under the impression I will probably want to use a walkthrough. That much I have an impression on, but... Outside of that... What else was I... Yeah, and then like... Depending on the subscriber count, I'm definitely going to get the 9,001 subscribers, do some Dragon Ball Z-related stuff. I'll probably play specifically Attack of the Saiyans for the DS. It's actually, like, a pretty good game for being, like, a DS turn. It's a turn-based Dragon Ball RPG, if you, if you haven't heard me rant about it. I just, I stumbled across it years ago. I was just hunting for used games, and I'm like... Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Like, I've never heard of this. Then I looked at it, I'm like, is this a turn-based RPG? There's no way it was a turn-based RPG. So I, I left it there. I drove home, because I didn't have data or anything on my phone. Confirmed it was a turn-based RPG, drove back, and I bought it. And it's like, you can tell someone, like, really liked Dragon Ball that made it. Like, it was, it was good. I'm worried that if I stream it, the battle system might be a little stale. But I'm not sure. We'll see when I revisit. Like, it would give me an excuse to play through the... It spans from, like, the King Piccolo saga to, like, the end of the Saiyan saga. So, like, I just, you know, regardless of how the... battle system plays out. I, I had fun with it, though. So, yeah, I'll probably be doing that. Then, sometime after that, I already have Final Fantasy VII Remake on my computer. I also looked up a bunch of information on how to make it run on my computer and not have it be stuttery dog shit. So I'll be sure to do all that stuff. Then sometime around there, I do want to take a second jab at Final Fantasy XIV. And if I, if I gravitate away from it again, I'm just going to leave it be. But I'd like to at least, like, I want, I would like to at least get to the point where 
like it's like there's a certain point where it's supposed to like quote unquote get good. I want to at least play it until then. Because then if I get hooked, I get hooked. If I don't, I don't. Like whatever. That's pretty much where I'm at. So I think I'm gonna now that I did that like end of the stream diatribe there. Is Cognitive Dissonance a full length game? I think so. Like I think it's actually like pretty lengthy. Like it'll probably take like it won't take as long as this, but like it'll probably be like I don't know, twenty hour experience probably. I'm not gonna be shy about using a walkthrough if I get lost, so So that all being said, I think I'm gonna wind the stream up here now. And I'll be back for that on Sunday. So tune in for that. And then whatever else beyond. I might upload a few things in between now and then that's not streams or whatever, but we'll see. So I hope you enjoyed this I hope you enjoyed the series. And if you have any interest in it, I'd say give it a try. Just, you know. It's ROM hack hard like you would expect. Just be mindful of that going in. So don't forget the lard, everybody, and I'll see you next time. If I don't see you before then, anyways. Uh, stream off.